Good morning, Commissioner Adair. It's really nice to have you here. Uh, welcome. Uh, for those watching, I'm Janice Garceau. I'm the Director of Behavioral Health for Deschutes County, and our uh, wonderful Commissioner Adair has agreed to do a little uh, short interview with us focused on um, COVID. I know folks have heard a lot about it, and there's probably a lot of fatigue in the community right now on this subject, um, but we're definitely at a moment where we have to kind of regroup and recommit to some um, positive behavior and keep moving forward through a tough season. So that's what we're here to talk with you about. We do, um, but I think it's important to just remember those around you, keep your space. And if you see someone that's not wearing a mask, be sure and leave lots of room between you and your, um, you know, your family and, um, you know, keep your, keep your limits um, down to a safe level. You know, who are you going to expose yourself to? People are always wanting to hug me and I'm, I'm probably a hugger, but I've really tried to be like someone who bumps elbows. So, and bumping ankles is really, uh, that's not the best idea for me, but I have done that too. So yes, just, you know, all these little changes that, that we have made to our life um, the last eight months, I hope that some of them are just habits that we can remember through the winter. Yeah, thanks commissioner. So as we're heading into the next months and possibly um, the toughest time in this fight, um, really the toughest time after eight tough months, right? Yes. Um, what words of advice or encouragement do you have to offer the community? Well, this is what I think is critically, critically important. And I realize it's already November 2nd, but if you haven't gotten a flu shot, you need to get a flu shot now. I, I can't overstress that enough. I think it is really important. And then the second thing that I think a lot of people have forgotten to do, and in fact, I'm writing myself some personal notes, is go see your doctor. If you need a checkup, um, really, we have not been taking, we, I'm referring to us as Americans, have not seen our doctors enough lately. And you need to look at your list. Do I need a mammogram? Do I need a colonoscopy? What is it I need? And please, please, please take care of that. Now, um, I think you'll feel a lot better about yourself and knowing that, you know, you, you've got to keep yourself healthy. And those are kind of simple things that have been kind of shoved aside. And so I'm honestly, I'm hoping that that will be part of it. Um, you know, of course, we've got to continue with, um, you know, washing our hands, wearing our mask, carrying your hand sanitizer. I did try gloves. Um, Thank you. Uh and I think you have a handout there, Commissioner, if you are willing to just hold it up for the camera, it's going to come out with this video. But these are some tips for getting through this season to add to what the Commissioner just shared with you. Uh, and it's things like, you know, keeping your social circle and your bubble really small and consistent. Um, having a plan for the holidays that perhaps doesn't involve travel, but involves creative ways to stay connected, that kind of stuff. So that'll come out as well um, with this video. Last question, Commissioner, as you um, think about this next period, what are you doing to keep perspective and to stay hopeful? Well, this is the one of the vulnerable. And for those that are vulnerable, please do keep your um, distance, keep your social interaction very limited. I have friends like that. And in fact, my dearest friend lives at the other end of the county. And I think we've only seen each other once in the last mm -hmm. Nine months. So, you know, be respectful of those that are vulnerable. And um, I just, I think though, we have to be gracious and grateful that we are in a county where we do have our regional hospital that's outstanding. And then the other thing I think we should immediately have a relationship with your doctor. In fact, as what I'm suggesting is to see your doctor if you haven't for the last eight months and just um, rebuild that relationship so they know who you are when you call up. And, um, you know, I think that's what we have to do to stay positive. Well, I really want to thank you for your time and um, all that you're doing to help the community get through this difficult time. And um, we will be sending some information out to go hand in hand with this video. Um, in case you have questions, you can always reach out to the COVID line, um, which is referenced there. If you're concerned about your emotional well-being, you can reach out to the crisis line. Um, so thanks everyone for joining us. Thank you, Commissioner Adair.
Thank you, Janice. Mm -hmm. Thank you.